completed. Now the balance areas is on direct product profitability and customer profitability analysis. Now it is not that we have not done DPP and CPA. DPP is something which is already done. Direct product profitability is nothing but finding profit for every product and which is nothing but same as activity based costing. In activity based costing we also calculate the cost for every product. So same rules of activity based costing will apply here and we are going to calculate the cost for every product. Let us look at question 22. XYZ ornamental has been a name to count on for quality and service. It has been designing wide range of ornamental products for more than two decades using the highest quality standard. Such quality is achieved through years of experience and the integrity that is maintained by its employees, basically the background of the company. Uh, the variable cost has been determined as 622 and 103. These are the product data, star product, dwarf product and other products, production and sales, direct material cost, direct labor cost is given, total variable over it is 1 crore 20 lakhs out of which 30 percent is for procurement and use of materials while others are due to labor. As of now I allocate my variable over it using a percentage of material cost and labor cost. This is the traditional approach. In the traditional approach, we have been allocating it using variable over its and a percentage of variable cost and material cost. VGG, just a minute. VGG will not accept any, uh, VGG will not accept any work. Uh, uh, if the contribution ratio is less than 28 percent, directors are considering switching to an ABC system and they have undertaken an in-depth review. As a result of the review, as a result of the review, uh, this is the calculation which has been done. Uh, direct material related over it is the volume of material used to facilitate production of each product. Material ratio is 585, the weightage is 585, labor weightage is 765. Give a financial analysis of the decision strategy which XYZ may implement about the manufacture of each product using the unit cost information available. Discuss whether ABM should be adopted in companies like XYZ. Please go through the question. Now under the traditional system, uh, the cost are going to be driven by percentage of material cost and a percentage of labor cost. Let us first do the traditional method, then we do the ABC method and then we kind of conclude on, uh, we give comments on the conclusion which they are going to make. Working note 1, computation of cost driver rate under traditional method, computation of cost driver rate under traditional system
particulars there are two types of overheads material related overheads and labor related overheads normally variable overheads are something which should be directly traceable but in this case they are not directly traceable a uh, variable overheads should ideally be traced to the product rather than taking it as a percentage point number 1 budgeted overheads point number 2 suitable base budgeted suitable base and point number 4 oar budgeted overage suitable base budgeted suitable base now 1 crore 20 lakhs is the overall amount in that 30 percent is material related and 70 percent is labor related 30 percent and 70 percent 30 percent is material related 70 percent is labor related then we have material cost at a company level because this is the rate for the entire company 2250 plus 750 plus 60 lakhs overall expense at a company level and this is 15 lakhs plus 5 lakhs plus 60 lakhs again at a overall company level okay sorry this is budgeted suitable base and suitable basis direct material cost and direct labor cost and if I divide I get 40 percentage of material cost and this will be 105 percentage of labor cost so the overheads is going to be 40 percentage of material cost for material related overheads and 105 percentage of labor cost for labor related overheads clear <coughs> then working note 2 computation of PVR for star and dwarf particulars star and these are the two products let us calculate the cost per unit direct material direct labor overheads overheads will be split as material related overheads material related overheads labor related overheads total variable cost contribution selling price and we get PVR material labor material related overage labor related overage total variable cost contribution selling price and PVR material is 22 lakh 50,000 divided by 10,000 per unit cost 225 and 37.5 15 lakh by 10,000 225 150 now my material related over it says the rate which we have decided is 40 percentage this has been decided as 105 percentage 105 percentage of labor cost overall cost is 622 and 103 which is what is given in the equation I could have taken it but we are just trying to calculate so that our steps are right and 740 
150 and 151 is the selling price so my contribution is 117 and 47.25 and the PVR which I make is unfortunately product star is not meeting the PVR numbers which we had decided on this is at 15.88 percentage and 31.29 percentage uh, dwarf is meeting the target star is not meeting the target stars margins are lower than the targeted margins the margins have been lower than the targeted margins so if I have to give commentary I will indicate that the company should not be manufacturing the product star if you go from a conventional method point of view now let us move to ABC point of view working note 3 computation of cost driver rate under ABC cost driver rate under ABC activity total cost cost driver name cost driver quantity and I have cost driver rate activity total cost cost driver name cost driver quantity and cost driver rate we have only two types of expenses material related OH and labor related OH material related overage and labor related overage this is 36 lakhs this is 84 lakhs now for material they are saying material ratio per product unit that is how much quantity of raw material is needed for every unit of output so this can be material quantity now the cost driver quantity is going to be 10,000 units of star into 5 10,000 of star into 5 20,000 of dwarf into 8 plus 80,000 of other products into 5 5, 8 and 5 10,000 into 5 20,000 into 8 and 80,000 into 5 and the rate is 5.9 then comes the labor operations similar calculation this time it is not 585 7 6 and 5 and 14.24 is the rate 5.9 is the rate for material related OH and 14.24 is the rate for now next step we normally apportion over it after apportioning over it I get the cost per unit in this question what I am going to do is I will directly do the cost per unit in this format and apportionment will also be done as part of this only you will understand this as I do it so next working note 4 computation of PVR under ABC write the same format over its alone will undergo a change write the same format take your time write the same format take 30 seconds to do this
okay now coming to material related over its listen one product is going to take five units five and eight so this is at a per product level so phi is the cdq and cdr is 5.9 5 is the cdq 8 is the cdq and 5.9 is the cdr similarly similarly labor operations 7 into 14.24 and 6 into 14.24 so now the scenario altogether changes which product we were trying to sell has become a loss making product whereas product star is now meeting that 28 percent criteria and abc is always more accurate and precise than the traditional method this is how you will answer the part one discuss whether abm can be applied for companies like xyz abm is nothing but the application of costing and cost principles now in an abm kind of a setup what is abm and what is abc is abc is a method of costing abm is basically the application of abc now a companies like this which have multiple products should ideally implement abc because that will help in better distribution of cost so from that point of view abc is useful also i can make better decisions and also try to reduce cost how can cost be reduced is i'll now track the cost drivers and try to either reduce the cdr or the cdq and what is abm abm is the application of abc to this we have two types of ABM, operational ABM and strategic ABM. Operational ABM is trying to find out those cost and all, trying to find out the various cost drivers. Strategic ABM is trying to make the right decisions.